try this again. Hello? Is he gone? That was something. If I wait too long, he will catch me. I remember that. Anything in there? No. Let's just get the hell out of here and call it quits. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh. Well, good job, dumbass. Uh, let's see here. Hospital hall key. Okay. The hospital hall. Doctor's way. Nothing bad. Sorry to go. Oh. What's this say? Uh, hospital history. In 1878, the State Lunatic Hospital at Denver was erected. Under su the supervision of prominent Boston architect Nathaniel J. Bradley in an extremely rural, out of the way location, the immediate crisis, sorry, which precipitated the building of a mental hospital north of Boston was the immense, but was the imminence in the early 1870s. The closing facility, blah, 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 blah. The only thing that stands out here is State Lunatic Hospital. That's a... I don't think that's an official term. Let's see anything good here. Uh, if you all want to read this, just uh, pause the video and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Oh, wonderful. Uh, what's that say? Projection room, meeting room. Reception, not going back in there. Where's the hall? Oh. <laughs> Freaking chair. <laughs> now, let's see here. Projection room. Alright, let's see what's in the projection room. At least these lights are still on, despite the fact that we knocked up the fuse box. Hello? Tell me what you see, David. Tell me what you feel when you look at this painting. Huh. Oh god. Ah, damn it! This game doesn't have the, uh, the night vision mechanic that, that most of the games have. Meeting room. I'm not going to the meeting room because I haven't got any batteries. I can't see shit. Doctor's wing. Uh, hospital hall. Hmm. The 
day room. Fight drive with the night room. Uh, nope. Nope. dark and there's no lights. No. I can't... I, this isn't a horror issue. This is a... I have no friggin' batteries and I can't see anything issue. But it's in here. No evil. Fear of the dark, which is kind of minor, but mm. this is more of an inconvenience than anything. Hello, evil. Oh, hello, fancy doors. How are you today? Walkie talkie. See, the mechanics are, are work differently here. Oh, that's not bad. Look at these. Oh, of course, they're locked. Is that the front door? Oh, God damn it, really? Alright. Where's the screamer? Patient progress report. 
As for the latest diagnosis, the patient has started to show signs of acknowledgement for his second personality. I still couldn't understand what may have caused this disassociative identity disorder and when the cause in question occurred, if there is one. The interesting thing is, while in a normal personality, as I've decided to call this for now, she acts like a completely normal person with a strong mind. Today I went to test what might trigger the second, sick personality with a little experiment. I asked her if she knew Dr. S. She told me that she even knows her room's password. I asked what it was, and she told me the last digit of the password is half of the second digit. Then she whispered that the second digit was equal to the number of wash basins in the restroom. I asked how she knew this much, and she told me that Sophia told her. I'm afraid this personality I was trying to examine was already triggered when I started to ask questions. Is this Sophia's act? Alright, uh, that was a puzzle. Memento. Uh, hold on a second. Got a pencil and paper. One second. <sighs> Completely forgot that they need me to do this crap. Do -do 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 -do. So let's see, last digit of the password is the second, is half of the second digit. Second digit is equal to the number of wash basins in the restroom. I was just in the restroom. So let's see here. So we have, I think, half of a code here. Second digit, so... who was doing the recording there, I think I know him. I think he's a Let's Player on uh, on YouTube here. Here on YouTube. I'm sorry. Uh, I think he, I think that's Cry. I need, to, I need to look it up. To confirm. We already went down there. We're not going back that way. Let's see, we're in there already. What have we got? What have we got? The observation room in there. Is there a way in or out of that room? Because it doesn't matter. That doesn't open, so whatever. Okay. How about you? No? 
holding out on me box? You holding out on me here? You jackass? Fucking inanimate objects. Why are they so bright? Oh, uh, uh, can I light them up? No, whatever. I don't need to. Anything else in here? No? Okay, let's get out of here. Anything evil? These are some evil, maniacal light switches they got going on here. <laughs> uh, honey, can you light up the living room? Sure, let me throw the lever! <laughs> God damn it. That's dumb. Hello, locked. How about the dark day room? How about that? Uh, is there something evil in here? Yes, no, yes. No. Uh, it's the evil light switch. Awesome. Oh, is something gonna burst out of that closet? Annoying her. Uh, bleh. Three dash two. She doesn't know this, but it's a four digit. I know it's a four digit. Okay, so there's. Five. Oh, okay, cool. So the code is five six two three. Alrighty then. Oh god, I'm getting some lag here. Oh god. One second here. 